Hello everyone and welcome back to another Providing Resources for Emergency Preparedness YouTube video. On this channel, we are always giving positive vibes for motivation on food storage, prepping, from scratch cooking, and cash budgeting. I have noticed and I sincerely appreciate all the new subscribers to the channel. If you are new to the Prep family, I want to extend you a warm and uh, welcoming welcome to our family. If you are one of my day one subscribers, I would like to thank you and offer you a big hug as well for your continued loyalty and rocking with me for such a very, very long time. Anyone with positive vibes is welcome to this channel. I love interacting with the viewers, so feel free to leave your comments below. I do read each and every comment, and I also try to reply to every comment left on this channel. So thank you for your loyalty and welcome to the channel. Be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you are always aware when I upload a new video. If this is your first time to the YouTube channel, I use cash envelopes and sinking funds to create financial preparedness for my family. The sinking funds process has allowed me to pay my bills months ahead of time and to prepare for emergencies. For example, when I post a sinking fund video on June 1st, that bill covers all of my July bills. The video I post on July 1st covers all of August bills. You get the point. Most importantly, the amounts shown are just my cash and sinking funds. Sinking funds and cash envelopes do not cover my mortgage, homeowner's insurance, car payment, water bill, light bill, gas bill, home phone bills. Those expenses are deducted automatically from my checking account. I use cash envelopes and sinking funds to budget what's left after my everyday living expenses. So far in 2021, using cash envelopes has created the discipline I needed. I needed to stop swiping that debit card randomly and without any regard for a budget. Because I have been so disciplined in 2021, it left me with an excessive amount of money to prepare for hyperinflation, and I'm going to do just that. But as you can tell, providing resources is not just about sinking funds. I'm a prepper first, and I intend to share all of my full family emergency preparedness plans on this channel. But do know this, without financial preparedness, which I use sinking funds and cash envelopes to do that, I do not have any money to buy food storage and other preparedness supplies I need to be ready when rapid inflation becomes a serious, serious problem in the United States. Most people are all over the vid virus. Like most of you, I'm excited to come outside of the house and stop social distancing. The goal for us here at Prep Family is to get back to whatever was normal for us prior to the lockdowns and social distancing. But as a prepper who also likes to budget, I must think of the unthinkable. For me, one plus one still equals two, and I know that hyperinflation will be a factor in the coming months. With that belief that hyperinflation is going to be a problem in the United States, I'm going to use our cash envelopes and sinking funds to prepare for it. In today's video, I will be making changes to my budget for the calendar months of June, July, and August to prepare for hyperinflation. I seriously believe that hyperinflation is inevitable, especially a high spike in consumer products. I'm going to use my sinking funds to get myself ready, to get my family ready so that we have what we need and we can still spend our money while the dollars still have some value. 
with all of those reasons that I've stated before, let's get into the video so I can show you the budget categories that I am changing and the dollar reallocations I'm going to do in my sinking funds envelopes in future sinking fund videos so that I can get my family ready for hyperinflation. I hope this video inspires you to give this some pause and think about what you're going to do for your family as well. All right, so let's get into the numbers. So I've laid out my budget in an Excel spreadsheet. And if you followed my channel for a while, you know that I use an Excel spreadsheet instead of a planner. I do have a full budget video and I will link it in the iCards up here. And I will also link it below in the description of my full budget, including my income, my taxes, my medical, dental, life, phone, gas, all of that. If you're interested in seeing my entire budget, I will link that below and I will also put it in the icons above and you can go watch it after you finish watching this video. What I have in front of you is the amount I have budgeted to go in my cash envelopes towards my hyperinflation prep. So for my hyperinflation prep, um, for the month of June, I've already budgeted $3,207. For July, right here, I've budgeted $2,207. I'm sorry, $2,327. And I budgeted that same amount for July, August, and September. Down here is my four binders. My cash envelope binder, my life binder, my holiday binder, and my streaming service binder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reallocate the dollar amounts in June, July, in July, August, and September. June is going to stay the way it is because I've already done that budget in May and I don't want to redo it. But July, August, and September are fair game. And I'm going to reallocate the amounts that you see here into categories that allow me to prep for hyperinflation with using my sinking fund envelope. And I think that the hyperinflation for me, in my opinion, is going to start sometime around November, the holidays. And if I'm wrong, I'll just have a well-stocked house. So let's get into the numbers of reallocating. So as far as car gas, we're right here. I think I'm going to leave car gas at 120. That's what I stuff every month. I've been pretty consistent with that. And I'm going to leave that um, the way it is. So the next category. So the next category I'm going to stuff is going to be car wash. With our car washes, I can wash our cars at home. Now, I live where it gets negative 70 degree polar vortexy. So, during the month of December through, I want to say April, I can't wash my car at home. But June, July, August, and September, I can wash my car at home. It's warm enough. Our car doors won't freeze. So, I can reduce this all the way down to zero so let's do that so where does that twenty dollars go that i took out of that i'm gonna add that to groceries so we're gonna go in here we're gonna have equal and we're gonna put that twenty dollars in grocery so we can continue oops so we could continue to stock our pantry so i'm gonna put that equal there plus 20 and then I could just drag this one over here all right groceries is going to stay the same I'm not going to touch anything with groceries all I'm going to do with groceries is add to it
The same with household. Household is going to stay the same. All you're going to see me do is add to it. And the same with personal care. Personal care is budgeted at $200 a month. But what you're going to see me do is eliminate other categories during the months of July, August, and September for household, groceries, and personal care. And I'm going to be adding to this area. Clothing, we're going to maintain at $158 a month. Um, we're pretty stocked up on clothing. I do need... Um, some work pants if we go back into the office but we shall see all right so clothing will maintain at 158 all right dry cleaning we will continue at $20 Especially if I start um, returning back to the corporate office work environment and work from home is no longer allowed. But um, no decision has been made um, in that yet. So we will keep dry cleaning at the current $20 amount. We won't add to it. Prepping is a category that I've currently allocated $50 a month. But we will be taking from other categories and adding to the prepping category. The amount up here is going to remain the same, but what we're going to do with it is going to be different. So we'll leave the prepping at $50 a month, but we'll be adding to it. All right. So those are my cash envelope sections that I've done so far. My car gas, my car wash, grocery, household, personal care, clothing, dry cleaning, and prepping. This is where we're going to start seeing variations down below. So let's copy that. Okay. So in cell phone, I, I definitely need <laughs> I definitely need a new cell phone. My cell phone is on its last leg and it's barely keeping a charge anymore. I have a very, very old iPhone 4 something. 4C, I think it is. So we definitely I need definitely need to be updating my cell phone. So but I'm going to leave that at the $90 for right now. Car maintenance is looking good for me. We haven't had any need to do any car maintenance except for oil change. Probably coming up here in July. So um, I think leaving, at, leaving the budget at the $50 for car maintenance while we stock up for hyperinflation is a smart move. So we'll leave car maintenance there. Car tags and plate renewals definitely needs to maintain at the 34, so we won't be making any changes to that category whatsoever. All right, by the time you see you guys see this video, we will already have started the process of moving. June is the last month that I have budgeted for moving. So the $90 I have here, I can reallocate up here to a category to help me prep for hyperinflation so for moving we are going to remove the $90 and I'm going to put those categories to zero to no longer be included in the budget and I'm going to reallocate that $90 up here to prepping category so we're going to add the $90 here. I'm going to add $90 here. And we're going to drag that to include the $90 here. All right. So miscellaneous. Um, So miscellaneous, I have already um, managed to put it at 150. So we're going to maintain at 150 because um, life happens and miscellaneous cover category covers that. 
um triple a renewal we definitely need to get that renewed because you never know if you'll get a flat tire and break down on the side of the road and um especially living in the north we have horrendous winter weather where your car can slide off the road hit a ditch or whatever you definitely need um triple a in the midwest so we're going to leave that at the 14 dollars, and we're not going to change the triple a budget Next on the list is our driver's license and real IDs. This now, after June, is fully funded. So for this driver's license and real IDs um, that everybody has to get by October 2021, I have now fully funded that. So this $10 here can be reallocated to another category. So I'm going to remove the $10. I'm going to set those categories to zero now and I'm going to reallocate that ten dollars up here to the prepping category to help me prep. So we're going to add ten dollars so that it be plus ten. And then this would be plus ten as well. And then we can drag and complete the last category. So that's where that money went. Okay. Costco is fully funded. And I'll show you a picture of that right here. Plus, we still have our gift card. So with Costco being fully funded, we have no need to add any more money and nothing to reallocate it. Sam's Club is also fully funded. And Sam's Club being fully funded, we don't have to um, reallocate anything and we can move on to our next categories. Our next section is holiday. So for the holidays, we will be taking money from our holidays and reallocating it up to the prepping section. All right, so for New Year's, I'm gonna continue for New Year's, Super Bowl, Valentine's Day, Easter Sunday and Mother's Day and Memorial Day because Memorial Day is this weekend when I'm recording this video. So for these four categories, these categories right here that I have highlighted, that comes up to $90. So I'm going to take that entire $90 out of these categories up to Memorial Day for the months of July, August, and September. And I'm going to reallocate that to the, um, I'm going to give $45 to household and $45 to person. So that's what it's going to happen to this money. So these, you know, 30, 45, right? So that comes up to $90. So this $90, actually, that's more than $90. Let me see. That's 30. Yeah. 60, 90. So, yep, $90. So this $90 is going to go up um, here to 45 to household, 45 to person. So we're gonna delete these categories here. Try that again. All right, and we're gonna set them all to zero. We're gonna drag that down. This is why I use Excel, because if I had a paper planner, I'd be erasing and whiting out like crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that $45 in household. We're going to add $45 to that one. And then we're going to drag. All right. And then we're also going to add $45 to personal care. All 
All right. All right. So that's covered. Now, let's go down a little further. Fourth of July, we're going to leave at the $15. Um, my daughter's birthday, I'm not going to touch at all. Labor Day, however, we can take a lot out of Labor Day. So what we're going to do is we're going to change Labor Day to $10. And we're going to take the other 15 and put that in our prepping category. So we're going to change this to fifty um, to ten dollars, and then we're going to take the other fifteen and put that in our prepping category. So we're going to do plus fifteen. And then same here, it's going to be plus 15. Right? And we'll drag that over. And if you notice, our numbers are staying exactly the same. We're just doing the reallocation. All right? Because the budget's the budget. This is the budget. This is the budget. So I need to work what I need to work down in here. Okay. Halloween... We can definitely take that down as well. We're going to take Halloween down to $10 and we're going to put the rest of it in prepping, the other 10 in prepping. So 10, 10, 10, and we're going to add another 10 to prepping. So add 10 there. Add 10 there. And then we're going to drag. All right. Now, Christmas, Thanksgiving is our next category. Oh, I forgot to move my markers down. Let me do that here. Okay. So now we're at Thanksgiving. Hopefully you was able to follow along without the markers. So now we're at Thanksgiving. So for Thanksgiving, I budget $45. I'm actually not going to change that. I don't think that's enough. So we're just going to leave Thanksgiving at $45. And the same with Christmas. Christmas will receive no change in budget. We're going to continue to do the $50 every month. Next is our streaming services. And our streaming services are paid for a while. They're essential but non-essential. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut our streaming services completely. All except for the Amazon because I do use Amazon for prime shipping and for and for the Amazon prime food delivery. So I'm going to keep that one because Amazon has multiple layers of why I use it. But as far as Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu, and HBO, HBO Max, they got to go. So this amount here comes up to $54. If I'm not mistaken, yes. $54. So let me bring this down. All right. So Amazon, I'm going to keep because I use it for the Amazon Prime two-day shipping and all of that. But this $54, right here, it has to go. So we're going to make that zero. We're going to put zeros in for that budget. Okay. And we're going to bring that down. Excel makes it so much easier to mess up like I'm doing. <laughs> because I now don't have to erase. All right. So that $54, I'm going to bring that up. And I'm actually going to set that in groceries. 
We want to make sure we have enough food and things stored up in the event of hyperinflation prices. So we're going to add that 54 to groceries. And I plan on buying long-term shelf-stable food with those groceries. Um, so, like I said, I'm a, I love to sink funds. I love to do budget. I love to do prepping. Um, but I'm a prepper first. I love my cash envelopes, but I use my cash envelopes to prep. So if you look here, even though we made all of... Let me not scroll so fast. Even though we made all of these changes to my budget... My budget remained the same from the very beginning. All I did was reallocate what I needed to go for my prepping. So, so far, I got two wool lights, two wool lights, two wool light darks, uh, two vessels. And they only have one of the four ounce trash bags. So we'll keep going to the next items I need. Okay. So next on my list, my prepper stock up list. I'm just taking a look. Okay, I see it. I'm gonna get a couple of these. We have really hard water. So I'm gonna get a couple of these. So next on my list is the caress body washes we love. I already got some Girls with a honey hair and mosa. Ugh, these are all covered in some. Okay. okay, why are those all covered? So I got four of the daily silks and two of the lotus. this one. You get one of the rows in your lane. Your lane.
So for the months of June, July, August, and September, you're going to see me prep using this entire budget amount. I'm going to use all of the grocery money, which adds up to $3,082. I'm going to use all of the household money. When I add that in, that's $4,217. I'm going to use all the personal care money which adds up to now $5,152. All of the clothing, which is $5,784 total. And then I'm going to add in the prep. That gives me a total of $6,373. I'm going to pull out of my uh, cash envelopes over the course of June, July, and August of this year to prep. Again, that total was $6,000. $373. That's what we're going to spend getting our house in order for hyperinflation. Now, I also want to say that I know it's a privilege to be able to do this. I know many people will watch this video and they will not be in a position to do this, um, to save up, to buy so much at one time. However, my heart goes out to you. Um, but I'm not going to apologize for being able to be in a position to do so. I have spent many of my years of my life poor. I grew up on food stamps. My mom was on welfare for years. And I have worked hard all of my adult life to earn the gray hairs that I got to be in a position to spend the money that I am going to spend. If my budget triggers you to negativity, I strongly encourage you not to watch the channel. We want to keep positive, happy vibes over here. Even though I'm a prepper, I still live for today. And it gives me a peace of mind to know that I can take care of my family in the event of any emergency. An emergency that I see coming is inflation Mary consumer prices. So... Thank you for watching another Providing Resources for Emergency Preparedness YouTube video. If you like this type of content or you want to see if I actually spend all this money and what I spend it on when I do my hauls on this channel, I encourage you to join the family. We would love to have you here. Click the subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you're always notified when I upload a new YouTube video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.